guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today I have a little makeup tutorial for you. I love this look. I think it's such a Shea look, isn't it? All the warm tones. I love it. I love it. This video is sponsored by Sigma Beauty as we are using their new Core de Rosa collection. It is gorgeous. There's a new eyeshadow palette. We have lip glosses. We have a beautiful brush kit. A lot of good stuff in this collection. Real quick, just take a look at this palette. I'm sure you've already seen it. I'm a little late on this. It's actually already launched. However, it is, oh to die for. So, so pretty. So we use this palette to create this look today. I can also think of like just 20 more looks I would love to do with this palette. I would have done more, but we would have been here all day. So stay on the lookout for more looks with this palette because my God, she's a beauty. I'm also going to be sharing with you guys Sigma's new brush set that is so, so pretty. And we're going to be getting into new lip glosses, uh, all types of stuff. So this is going to be a super fun video. I had a lot of fun filming it and yeah, enjoy. I am so excited to get into this palette right now. It's like the one palette that was in my mind during my whole little break I just took I was just like oh my god I gotta get back to filming I need to try this palette I mean it's everything that I love Sigma is like stepping it up Sigma makeup has always been beautiful you guys know I've always been a huge fan but gosh they're a brand that continuously just improves they get nothing but better with every launch it's just been improvement 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 they just continue to grow in my eyes and I love 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 the little duo brush here and it feels amazing Amazing. I don't know if you guys will notice this, but sometimes when you get a palette that kind of comes with a brush, the brush sometimes like I feel doesn't compare to the brand's normal line of brushes. This is not the case. This is like a really, really nice weighted brush. It feels exactly like any Sigma brush I already have. It's super sleek and I just, I love the color of that handle. That is cute. So this has the diffused crease brush and the E54 medium sweeper brush, two of my favorite brushes of all time. Okay, let's hold off. I could talk about this all day. I need first to get some foundation on. I'm probably gonna run through my base makeup relatively quickly because I wanna get into this palette and I'm not using anything new on the face. I'm skipping primer because I'm lazy. It's quarantine. I really don't need to be primed. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a little foundation and I'm going to apply that with the classic Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. But look at her little makeover. Look at this beautiful rose gold handle. I mean, my God, absolutely stunning. Oh, there's nothing like a fresh foundation brush. Oh my God, it feels so good. Really quick, I want to show you guys the F80 comes in the new Sigma brush set. This is the iconic brush set. It's five of Sigma Beauty's most iconic brushes, like of all freaking time. It also comes with the most beautiful little bag here. I love all the rose gold detail. Your brushes fit perfectly in there with lots of extra room for lots of extra brushes. It's just gorgeous. I love every detail. Detail. I love how the packaging, I know this doesn't matter, but I just, I'm a sucker for details and I love how they use the matte background, but then the pictures of the brushes and the words are actually uh, shiny. We're going to be using all the brushes in this kit today. This will run you $89, but it is at a value and you get their most iconic brushes of all time. Okay, so I'm just applying my foundation with my F80 Flat Kabuki brush. Now I'm just kind of thinking about like iconic brushes from the past and Sigma really has been like that since like day one. I don't think there's anything more iconic than the Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki brush. And Sigma has continued to just like 100% perfect their brushes throughout the years. They were great to begin with, but they weren't just like one and done. We have a great popular brush. We're going to call it a day. They continue to improve on the technology. Nowadays, the Sigma brushes have a patented interlocking ferrule system, which is super fancy words for basically most brushes on the market. You guys will know this if you've had a brush for a long time and it breaks. It's like a handle and it's the brush. And then this baby here is the ferrule where they connect. Normally there's just a dab of glue on that inside that holds it all together and you know after time it starts to wobble off and then your brush head falls off. I think we've all had that happen to us. Sigma's is actually like woven in. It has an interlocking ferrule system. Legit like it's not just glued on. Yes their brushes aren't super duper cheap. However they will last you a lifetime. They are vegan. Yes the Sigma Beauty brushes are fully vegan and they have a two-year warranty which is just absolutely unheard of. I say it every time but it still blows my mind. I've never heard of a makeup brush company ever having a two-year warranty where if anything happens to your makeup brush they will replace it within two years. Two years is a lot of time so it's definitely a purchase you can really count on. You'll get your money's worth tenfold. Okay, so God, it feels so good to have foundation on. I haven't had makeup on in like two weeks, for real, for real. I missed it. I'm sure Loke missed it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm just going to finish up my foundation. I'm gonna slap a little concealer on and then we will move on because I need to get into that eyeshadow palette and then we'll come back at the end for final face touches. So I will be right back. Okay, so my foundation and concealer are on and a little setting powder. I'm gonna dust that away with the Sigma F37 Spotlight Duster Brush. This brush is so cool because it's dense yet it's like super wispy. I don't even know how to explain it. I love using it to dust away my baking powder. Sometimes when you use a thicker brush, you'll notice it almost like moves the makeup. It's too aggressive. This is really, really nice and kind of keeps that brightness where you want it without disrupting any makeup underneath. Not only that, I mean, it's pretty universal. You can pretty much use it for anything like powder wise. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of bronzer. Also, if you're someone who gets a little heavy handed with your bronzer or your blushes, this is a really safe brush for you to use. It almost ensures you're not gonna get too carried away. Oh my God, bronzer, I've missed you so, so much. How have you been? And a little on the hairline. I'll run through this quickly. Again, I just want to get to that freaking palette. Oh my gosh. Finally, the moment I've been waiting for, we're gonna be getting into the Corda Rosa palette. I never know how to pronounce this correctly. Corda Rosa, is that it? I'm not fancy enough. If you guys are familiar with Sigma products, you know they had a blush. It's my favorite blush, Corda Rosa blush. So I think this is kind of inspired by that blush. But again, I know I've already shown it to you, but you just have to take a look at that beauty. We have a ton of mattes, some really beautiful shimmers. Oh, I love the stamping on it. I know it doesn't matter, but like this one has that beautiful little rose on there. Oh my God, Summer Song is just pulling at my heartstrings. We're gonna have to get into that, baby. First to start off, I wanna go into this shade Apricot. Do you guys say Apricot or Apricot? Just curious. And I'm gonna take this with the Diffused Crease E38 brush from Sigma. This comes in that iconic brush set. Notice again, the beautiful rose gold handle. I'm sorry, I can't focus, cause damn. You guys saw me, I only had that on for a second. This is so pigmented, oh my goodness. So beautiful, Sigma, what are you doing over there? I love this for a transition shade. Ah, oh, it is perfectly apricotty, apricotty. What is it, I don't know, I don't know the word. Sigma also has like their fibers of each brush are also patented. They call them Sig Max fibers. And they're supposed to give you a really, really, really airbrushed finish, super, super blendable. I mean, they make even like the world's most difficult shadows easier to blend. So I'm telling you, they are worth, worth, worth the investment. If you want a brush that's gonna last you for a long time, especially if you're like a working makeup artist, you just can't get better than the Sigma brushes. Let's do the same thing on this eye. I cannot get over this color. That is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just go bees to the wall. <laughs> Whatever. Um, this is the shade Summer Song. I really wanted to do medallion, but like this is staring me in the face so hard and it's like, Shay, like don't, don't, come on, don't kid yourself. You know you want to put me on your freaking face. And so, you know, that's what we're gonna do. Let's take Summer Song and I'm gonna try to not blow it out past our apricot shade. Now I'm saying apricot. What is it? Is it apricot or apricot? Oh, this is gonna bug me. I could just like Google it, but whatever. <sighs> These colors. This makes me want to be on a beach somewhere, but we're not going to the beach. Just stay inside. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's stay inside. The beach will be there next summer. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I think we made the right choice. I'm gonna go into the shade Barefoot. No, Bare Root, sorry. <laughs> that is not called Barefoot. Bare Root. Looks gorgeous. I thought it was like, like an espresso color, but it looks like there might be a little plum to it, which would make for a really interesting combination, if that's the case. I can't tell. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's gorgeous, I know that much. I'm gonna marry that into the outer V here. Now I'm kind of just pouncing it on at this point because I'm not sure how deep I wanna make this. I don't wanna go blend, blend, blend and like make a mistake. Not that it would be a mistake, but I don't know where I'm going yet. <laughs> Does that make sense? I just realized I've been doing like the whole look with just this brush. At least you know it's very versatile. Okay, so now I wanna go into the shade Shakespeare. This was the kind of raspberry one I was talking about. And I wanna see like, you know, what would happen if we just kind of pop that on top here and marry that into bare root? I thought that, ooh, yeah, I thought that might be a really pretty color combo. This is one of those looks that kind of like looks like a mess until it's done. It's a Monet. <laughs> so bear with me here, people. I know where we're going now. We're just laying down like our foundation shades. But at the end, it is going to be. Okay, so next, I wanna add a little highlight shade to the brow bone. Oh, this is perfect. Let's go into Veranda. This gorgeous lady up here. 
Ooh, that's a sweet little color. It's like a really pretty nude. I love that it's not too white or too pale. And it has a really pretty finish. It's not really a shimmer. And I wouldn't say it's a satin. I would almost say it's like a satin matte hybrid, if I'm not mistaken. It's gorgeous though. And just kind of use this to brighten up that brow bone. But also, I like to use this to kind of clean up anything that needs to be a little more blended up here. I'm going to wet that same E54 medium sweeper brush. Again, this also comes in the brush set. So let's go into campfire with our damp brush. And I'm going to kind of lightly cut crease this. I don't need it to be real harsh or anything. Not like a concealer cut crease, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Oh, I knew this was the right choice. This is gorgeous. I'm going slow because I don't know how far I want to take that in just yet. Oh my god, this is beautiful. I definitely want it like brightest on the inner half and then just kind of fade it out on this outer half best that we can. Oh my gosh, how amazing is that? Wow, is this not beautiful? My goodness, I love this eye makeup. <sighs> I love this look so, so much. These colors are just heavenly together. I'm on fire. I'm telling you. I mean, I'm not like, ooh, I'm hot. I mean, like, I'm filled with fire. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyeliner really quickly, and then we're gonna move on to the rest of the face and the lips. I'm just applying some brown eyeliner to my lash line and a little bit of liquid liner. Still debating false lashes. I hate them. I think they're the scum of the earth, but they look pretty good, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let's not overwhelm myself, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, guys, eyes are all done. I did end up adding some lashes and I smudged a little bit of brown eyeliner on my lower lash line. But to kind of give it that like, you know, more berry tone, I smudged in Shakespeare into the lower lash line. I think that looks really nice. I'm glad I wore false lashes. It's been literally forever since I last wore them. So I feel really good about it. <laughs> okay, so we need a little bit of blush and I thought, duh, let me grab like the actual Corda Rosa blush from the Sigma blush palette. Again, I think that this shade probably inspired this whole Corda Rosa collection, obviously. And again, mine's a little gross because I love it and I truly use it multiple times during the week. And I don't know, I hate when I see people saying that they love things and then it looks like they've hardly used them because their palette or whatever is so clean. So I would like to show you guys my dirty makeup so you can see like what I'm actually using. I mean, there's NYX in here. That's all just from love. It's, she's been well loved. Where is my brush? Taking my spotlight duster brush again. This is the one that comes in the set. Let's take a beautiful Corda Rosa down here. She's gonna go perfectly with this eye look. Oh, it is such a pretty blush. I love how warm it is. It's a really warm tone as opposed to being like a super sweet color. It just really kind of makes you look like healthy, vibrant, alive. Love that. Okay, now let's do a little bit of highlighter. I didn't want anything too blindy. I don't, I don't know. I'm taking a little break from like the mega highlighters right now. I'm going to use um, Pet Name in the Sigma blush palette, which actually... I think technically it's not super, super glowy. It just kind of gives a more natural, pretty, actual, like, brightness level highlight. Not like a shimmery highlight. Just kind of brightens the area. I love it. It's hardly noticeable, but when you see it, you're like, oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, and this is the F03 highlighter brush, also from the same brush collection. Lastly, for the lips, it just felt dumb not to use this. We're going to use the Corda Rosa Liquid Lipstick by Sigma Beauty. So pretty. Oh. Heaven, heaven. I love this lip color. I mean, it's just like, oh, so yummy. And Sigma also has out a ton of new glosses. I mean, look at these. They are so, so gorgeous. I really want to get into this one so bad, but not today. We're going to go with this guy here. Can you guess what the name is? Corda Rosa. Yeah. <laughs> of course, for the Corda de Rosa collection. Oh, wow. That is so metallic. That's gorgeous. Mmm. And that is it for our look today, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this as much as I did. This was so much fun. The Corda Rosa palette, my heart is a flutter. And the brush set, again, is just so cute. So you can buy these individually on their website. I will have everything linked down below for you guys. You can also use my discount code, which is SHAYXO, and that will save you 10% off your purchase. Feel free to use that if you'd like to, but no pressure. Now, if you wanted a few items from this collection, they have a really, really good bundle. You can actually get the eyeshadow palette, the brush set, all three lip glosses and the liquid lipstick that we used today all for $163. It would usually be $218 if you bought that all plus you can use my discount code. So that's an amazing bundle if you were interested in more things than one. Otherwise the palette will cost you $49 individually. The lip glosses and the liquid lipstick are $20 a piece. 
And you can also purchase all three of the lip glosses for $48. So they have a lot of really great bundles. And of course, you can just buy them individually as well. I will have all the information down below for you guys. Thank you to Sigma for sponsoring my video today. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.